Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomus Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the most important topics from unit 13 and basically what topics you need to prepare from unit 13 of CS100 Life Science Syllabus. So if you are preparing for CS100 Life Science exam and if you are looking for CS100 Life Science unit 13, then what are the topics that you should prepare? Because there are plenty of topics because CS100 unit 13 is filled with biological techniques and in this biological techniques section, you need to prepare a lot of things right so as per the syllabus it's basically every single biological techniques in there in this particular unit including uh, the cell biology techniques molecular biology techniques immunology techniques biomedical techniques biophysical techniques and many more kinds of techniques so basically what are the techniques that you need to prepare for cs and life science that's this video is all about so here i'm going to show you the details list of different topics which i believe are the most important for the upcoming cs and examination so stay tuned and watch this lecture because i'm going to show uh, the powerpoint from my computer screen including all the important slides all the important topics from different uh, subtopics of unit 13 cs and life science unit 13 or cs and life science techniques biological techniques chapter so here i'll i'll show you all right so here you can see in my screen that we're going to discuss about the most important topic list from cs and life science unit 13 and uh, the first technique we are going to talk about are rdt recombinant dna technology and in this recombinant dna technology you need to go through molecular cloning methods you need to talk about pcr and the types of pcr and the, the second type is microscopy. In the second type, microscopy, you are going to discuss about light microscopy, principle of microscopy, including the magnification, including the resolution, what's the difference, and also regarding the formula of resolution. That part is very, very important. Then you need to know electron microscopy, the differences between scanning electron microscopy and transmission electron microscopy. You also need to talk about the confocal microscopy and phase contrast microscopy. All are very, very important. Then comes to the biophysical techniques. And the biophysical techniques are very important and you need to go through the CD spectroscopy, circular dichroism. You also need to understand mass spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy, extra crystallography and IR spectroscopy respectively. And all this type of biophysical techniques, although it's a little difficult to understand, but you, with the help of our coaching videos with the help of our youtube videos you can understand it pretty clearly in the english version and the hindi version is also coming soon then comes the chromatography techniques and the chromatography you need to go through affinity chromatography ion exchange chromatography column chromatography hplc and gas chromatography i have made chromatography videos many times in my channel you have list of uh, the chromatography videos particularly the chromatography videos in english and chromatography videos in hindi all those uh, videos are available in my channel you can just get inside my channel search in the name of the video that you want to see you will find it out then comes to molecular markers i need to talk about the rapd rflp aflp snp uh, and uh, issr ssr what are the difference micro satellites mini satellites all these things are very very important which is required to study in the molecular marker section from this topic then comes molecular techniques what are the molecular techniques that you need to understand gel electrophoresis is something very very important two dimensional gel electrophoresis sds page uh, southern blotting northern blotting western blotting particularly the western blotting one is very very important and hybridoma technology and antibody production is something that is really really important from this molecular techniques chapter then comes sequencing techniques and the sequencing techniques we have genome sequencing we have shotgun sequencing high throughput sequencing sanger sequencing and little bit of you know in a, in a more unique level sequencing that is the sanger sequencing method which is also known as dideoxy sequencing method next generation sequencing method high throughput sequencing method as well as lastly the edmund degradation and all these genome sequencing videos are available in my channel i'll make a separate playlist for that so that you get to know about it pretty clearly then comes immunological techniques in immunological techniques you need to go through immunoprecipitation immunofluorescence elisa ria these are the techniques which are very important from the perspective of immunology so they can ask question from unit 13 as well as unit 4 from these topics then comes biostatistics biostatistics is an optional one although they are they can ask question from biostatistics not every single time not every single exam but they may ask so binomial and normal distribution uh, mean median mode that calculation and chi square test sometimes t test but mainly chi square test is something from where they ask questions then comes cell biology techniques and we have frap we have flip that is a freeze fracture matters and flip we have patch clamp recording technique 
uh, the nerve cell based technique then we have fluorescence activated cell sorting techniques fax and we have freight all these different techniques are there from cell biology which are very important alongside you need to go through the gfp tagging and gfp tagging based techniques then mixed techniques which are from all the different miscellaneous topics comes gene silencing processes crispr cas9 method you know gene silencing related to rnai or interference casper uh, crispr cas9 then we also have talents we also have gene knockdown gene knockout we have mutagenesis uh, the applications of mutagenesis understanding of gene delivery systems and subsystems and dna uh, footprinting we have dna microarray all these techniques are important for cs and perspective because i have seen question from all these different techniques in the last 10 years cs and question paper then comes the last biomedical techniques this is the optional one again because it's not a cup of tea for the biology students but if you're from biomedical science or from physics background you can understand ct scan uh, you have mri and you have pet scan position emission tomography so these are the three different techniques that you may understand but the rest of the other techniques are something which are really important for you to go through so these are the list of techniques from cs and life science unit 13 which is on the topic biological techniques i believe this video helps you out if you want to learn about any of these techniques except for these biomedical ones you will find all the techniques in multiple videos in my channel i'll try to put uh, a playlist for all this so that you can get to know about it better so that you can prepare it in a better way but this is the best way to produce your this is the best way to prepare for the csnet examination and to get a better score okay so that's all about csnet life science unit 13 preparation cs and life science biological techniques preparation i believe this video will help you so if you are preparing for cs and life science and if you are preparing for unit uh, cs and life science unit 13 that is cs and life science biology applications or biology techniques then these are the topics that you should prepare for this upcoming cs and examination it's not uh, for only for upcoming net but for any other net considering the last 10 cs and papers if you practice this uh, many techniques then unit 13 or biological techniques chapter of cs and Net life science syllabus will be crystal clear to you and if that is crystal clear then you will be able to answer approximately 7 to 8 part c question even more sometimes 10 11 12 part c question from these topics only so yes it's very very important unit all the very best for the preparation of cs and life science and if you want to get all the materials i mean where to study and how to study all these different topics in that case that's a paid service sorry till this part it's free that's a paid service that you can take from shamus biology if you join our coaching you'll get to know the details about all the different techniques we have books for that we have materials for that and video lectures are there and obviously for the free preparation obviously we have video lectures for all these topics in this channel itself uh, I'll, I'll try to put it inside one playlist but i'm not sure whether i'll be uh, able to do that before this examination but you can find it in my channel go inside my channel and search the name of all these topics and you'll find plenty of videos for your own preparation if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye